Hello viewers, in this video I would like to discuss about three-dimensional matching problem where input is three sets A, B and C and the cardinality of A, B and C are equal means the length of A set, B set and C set will be same and there will be a T which is a subset of the cross product or Cartesian product of A, B and C. Now output is yes or no because it is a decidable decision problem. Now output will be yes if there is a subset T prime which is a subset of T such that each element of A, B and C occurs exactly once in T prime that is the cardinality length of A is equal to the length of B and L equal to the length of C, the cardinality of C is equal to T prime and we have A uh, equals to uh, A such that A, B, C belongs to T prime, B is equals to B such that uh, A, B, C belongs to T prime and C is equals to C well, uh, such that A, B, C belongs to T prime uh, or the otherwise if the condition is not fulfilled the output will be no. From the example it will be more clear uh, let's say, but before the, that, I would like to. Um, why we are choosing T prime is the cardinality of A, not uh, three, because although the multiple combinations possible, but one element uh, cannot be present at more than one set at a time, which implies exactly one set for each element. Hence, the cardinality of T prime is equal to the cardinality of A, means the length will be same. And uh, we should know that uh, the length of the A, length of the T will be greater than the length of um, A, because the T is here the cross product of uh, ABC. So it will have contain the more element. Now, let's see the example. Um, let's say I have ABC, um, three, uh, I have ABC, I'm sorry. Uh, let's say I have um, ABC where I A, A set contain A1, A2, B set contain B1, B2 and C set contain C1, C2. Now uh, let's uh, take uh, T uh, as a subset from the cross product of A, B, C. Let's say here uh, we have uh, three su subset inside of uh, uh, the element will be of T will be like uh, first one. Let's say T is equals to T1 is equals to A1. B1, B2 and C1 and uh, um, A1, B1, B1 and C2 and uh, A2, B1, A2, B1 and C2 is the element of T1. Now in this case if we take a subset uh, T1 and T3 which is T prime uh, subset of T then the output will be yes. We can guess this subset since uh, we can guess uh, our guess output uh, will be uh, subset will be yes. Uh, since all the elements are covered in uh, covered and uh, covered exactly once. Since all the element of A1, A2, B1, B2 and C1, C2 is already covered here and covered exactly once now. What the input of T uh, change to as if I change the input T as uh, T equals to like a different input where I have A1, B1, C1 and A1, B1, C2 and I have A2, B1 and C2 then the output will be no because you can see that in the um, T subset uh, which is comes from A cross product B, uh, A, B, C cross product. In that case, you can see that not all the element are covered here. B2 is missing 
from A, B, C um, element, and then we will see that if uh, T does not containing the all element, you, of course, T prime is a subset of T that will also not contain all of the element of A1, um, B, A2, B1, B2, C1, and C2. Now, there is another example in the book of Gary Jensen where we have, uh, it was written that a marriage problem. We have uh, an unmarried man and an unmarried woman, and along with the list of all male and female pair, uh, who would be willing to marry one another. It is possible to arrange any marriage. So the polygamy is avoided and everyone receives an acceptable spouse. Analogously, is, this is the question actually, that is it possible to arrange any marriage so that polygamy is avoided and everyone receives an acceptable spouse? Um, analogously, in the two-dimensional matching problem, the set of W, X, and Y corresponds to three different uh, sexes, and um, each triple in the M corresponds to a three-way marriage that would be acceptable to all three participants. Now, traditionalists uh, will be uh, placed to note that Whereas three-dimensional matching is NP complete, the ordinary marriage problem can be solvable in polynomial time. So um, this is example from the book. And now the last question I would like to discuss that how can we show that three-dimensional matching problem is in NP complete? So first of all, we can easily say that uh, three-dimensional matching problem can be seen in NP class because since there is a non-deterministic algorithm, you need to guess only a subset T prime which has a cardinality of A, B. Uh, um, a cardinality A is equals to B is equals to C. So subset of T prime will contain uh, A is equals to uh, cardinality of A is equals to B. Uh, is equals to C and the triplet and that is a triplet from a subset T from the cross product of ABC and we can uh, check this in polynomial time that uh, no two of the guest triplet in any um, uh, coordinate. Now the second step is um, we can do a polynomial reduction from tree set to three-dimensional matching. For that, let's say we have an instance um, where u is equals to x1, x2 uh, till xn of Boolean variables um, uh, and a set of Boolean variables and we have a clause a set of clauses c1, c2, cm. Now this is the instance of three set. Uh, we must need to construct a disjoint set of A, B, and C uh, with a, a subset of T prime where the cardinality of A will be equal to B and equal to C and that is from the T will be from A, B, C uh, cross product such that, that uh, T contains a matching subset of and uh, only if C is satisfied. So this is the main condition that T will contain a matching subset of uh, only if uh, there is a C means three set is satisfied. So uh, you can get a brief discussion in the book of Gary Johnson here uh, explained in very nicely. This is the a picture of three-dimensional matching problem NP complete proof polynomial reduction from three set you can check that thank you for watching this video